now shocks. <clears throat> uh, it is very tempting. Uh, and you read kind of biological analysis. You have post keynesian build upon a certainty, finance, and so on. Uh, you have neo Marxian. <gasps> Look, class analysis and distribution of income. Not, not bad <laughs> compared to dynamic stochastic general model. Trust me, I can derive many of it. You have institutionalist, you have anormalist. They could build an alternative, but the big drama is everybody wants to build his own alternative. They cannot ally on a drone framework. And by default, the winners are the neoclassical. They defend the tool of rational choice. Common way of organizing the homogeneity of profession and are entitled to say anything about anything. So clearly, it is a, a, a very uh, important phenomena. The victory of techniques is killing the ability to master theory. And last but not least, heterodox theory has been uh, providing new hypothesis, for example, uh, Pope Friedman, that we perceive that using Alain Yang, Nicolas Caldor, increasing return to scale, applied to international trade, you import into theory a small piece of, the, uh, of heterodoxy, and you have a new branch of neoclassical theory. It is why you are a new generation, I want to do this very soon, but I end by two quotations. The first one you'll be surprised, I'm fond of Hayek. <laughs> because Hayek is saying, please, do not confuse your wonderful model with existing reality. And this is exactly my position. So, uh, <laughs> models are uh, experimental analysis in our head in order to understand the world. <gasps> but it's not the world. And, uh, 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 Cavalier was the same thing. We have been so admiring the international logic of the model, that we've totally missed to explore the huge variety of microeconomics.